Yo, what's up guys? My name is Eric, and on today's video, we're we'll going over some performance tests of the custom build budget gaming PC I have behind me. So to start this test, let's try a boot up test, and just so you know, this is running Windows 8. I'll be timing this, and let's go. We are at 7 seconds. 12. Up, oh, and we are there at 18 seconds. 18 seconds, that's actually pretty fast. Basically at least half that time was just the computer kind of like turning on and figuring itself out and not even the actual boot time. So now that we are in the OS, now I'm going to be doing some benchmark tests. First we're going to start off with Cinebench. Now in Cinebench, the first test we're going to run is the OpenGL test. This will test our graphic card and see how well it performs. And just so you know, I have an AMD 7660D. Anyway, let's run it. So for the OpenGL test, we got 31.44 frames per second, which is a lot better compared to my MacBook Pro, which only got around 13 frames per second. Anyway, now let's move on to the CPU test. We have a 3.8 GHz dual core processor. So let's begin the test. Click run. So we got a score of 3.2, which my Mac just got 3.1, so that's not a huge difference. So now let's move on to Geekbench. So I'm going to be running Geekbench only the 32-bit version because I do not have the 64-bit one purchased. Anyway, let's run it. So for Geekbench, we got a score of 6,515. Good thing for me is this is lower than my Mac score. My Mac got around 6,800. So from these scores, you realize this is just kind of an average computer. It's nothing too fancy. Though the GPU is higher than standard integrated cards. Now, unfortunately, I'm not a huge gamer, but I do have some frame rates that I can tell you with some games. Now, when it comes to like Minecraft, I got a standard 60 frames per second. And for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, I got in between 40 and 80. 80 frames per second, 80 being the highest and 40 being the lowest, but I more around got around the 50 and 60 frames per second. And then a game like Team Fortress 2, I got around 60 to 100 frames per second. Right now, you can basically throw any game at it and you'll be able to play it. But not all games will be able to run natively, so I may have to turn down the resolution or the quality. For example, like Battlefield 3, people claim to get around 40 frames per second, but that's only if you run it at medium to low settings at 720p. So let's end this video with a test of the shutdown speed so I have my stopwatch right here let's start it now we got 11 seconds I just had to wait for the fans to turn off in the computer so there's the video for today please leave all your feedback down below on this computer also hit the like button and the subscribe button which is down there anyway though guys I'm signing out